Hi, welcome to Angles and Acid. So in this episode, we are going to look at convection as a form of heat transfer. To do convection, you will need the following. You need some mobile particles. So this will be things like liquids and gases. If you don't have any mobile particles, then you can't do convection. Here we have some chickpeas in a beaker of water and we're going to bring it to the boil. By heating it up, we can follow the convection currents in the beaker of the water by watching the movements of the chickpeas. The temperature of the bottom of the beaker, the bottom of the water, is much warmer than the water in the top region of the beaker. The particles at the bottom, they gain this extra energy, this extra kinetic energy, and so the particles move further apart. When the particles move further apart, you create a low pressure zone or a lower density. So with the water, it becomes less dense at the bottom because it's warmer. And so we know that things that are less dense will tend to rise to the surface. When it rises to the surface, it carries those chickpeas up with it to kind of demonstrate to us what is happening. So this picture here is from Wikipedia, um, some illustrators called Orion and Construct, 2007. They're basically illustrating the same thing that we saw in the chickpea um, beaker. The heat is being applied at the bottom of the beaker, and so everything that is closest to that side of the beaker is going to be very much warmer than the top. When the chickpeas and the hot water rises to the top because it's less dense, it is then exposed to the cooler atmosphere because the air around at the top is much cooler than the air below, which was made out of the hot Bunsen burner. So that means that it can give away some of that heat energy to the cooler air particles above the surface of the water. When it does this, it loses its heat energy. It loses this movement or this kinetic energy that each particle has. And so they kind of come closer together because they're pushing each other apart less. So now that they are more dense, they then sink down to the bottom of the beaker and they go the process all over again. I hope this helps. This was Convection. See you later. Bye.